I'll be showing how to add prefabs to the asset browser and how to create your own prefabs. To add a prefab file to the asset browser, go to your project's directory, then to maps. Create a new folder here called prefabs and drag your prefab vmap file into this folder. Now the prefab will appear under the prefabs tab in the asset browser. You may need to enter a search to update the browser to show the new file. Any vmap file can be placed in this folder to make it appear in the prefabs tab. To turn part of your map into a prefab, first select the objects you wish to add to the prefab, then open the prefab menu and click New Prefab from Selection, Center on Origin. To add properties, inputs and outputs to your prefab, open the prefab's vmap in Hammer. To add a key value to the prefab's properties, find the field you want to use and then click the link icon. Enter a name for this new variable. The value of this field is now tied to a map variable. Click the arrow icon to go to the list of map variables. Here you can change your new variable's default values. Everything on this list will appear in the prefab's properties when it is loaded into another map. To add outputs to your prefab, go to the map properties under the map menu. Set the map name here so it can be targeted by entities inside the map. This is nothing to do with the prefab's file name. Next go to the map relays tab and add a new relay. This will be the name of our output. Pick an object that you want to trigger the output and then go to its outputs tab. Create a new output and set the target to the name you set in the map properties. In the input field, enter the name of the relay. Now when the triggering event happens, this map output will fire. Finally, to add a new input to the prefab, add a new map relay and go to the outputs tab. Add a new output and use the name of the relay as the output name. This output will now fire whenever that relay is triggered. Now you know how to create your own prefabs.